three things that do not mix. Silence, the camera run, and Chris Moyles. Tell me, how is this not going to be messy? Woo, good show today. Very excited about it all already, ladies and gentlemen. It's day 20, welcome to Big Brother's Little Brother, the big little program of the big picture, or T Programmer, meeting Pariso, Tero, Circuitfu, up, 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 C, as they definitely say in Greece. Uh, loads to come on the show today, ladies and gentlemen. Maxwell's mates are here, everybody. <laughs> One of them. One of them's called the Grinch, and they're here to uh, dish the dirt on a cheeky chappy chubby 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 And uh, Chris Mould is here. Oh there. He's drinking tea, he's got a cumulus behind him, and he says what he means. Uh, but we, ladies and gentlemen, we kick off, as we always do, every single day, because we know it's how you like it. With Little Brothers Big News. Ciao! Indeed, at 7.23 this morning, following a sleepless night in the crow's nest, it looks like some of the stress of nominations is starting to get to Roberto. Let's take a look at that stress right now. It is strictly against the rules of Big Brother to interfere for any reason with the cameras. moon at the camera. Uh, 11.46 this morning, Derek began his preparations for this week's eviction night. Take a look. Um, I asked last night for somebody to bring my housekeeper, whether she could bring about four or five um, CDs, Barbara Streisand CDs uh, for me. Derek, why do you assume you'll be evicted? I don't know. I, I have a premonition. I mean, I have a premonition. I mean, I think it would be extraordinary to be more unpopular than Sam, but, I mean, um, I'm, I'm ready for that possibility. I hope she brings Funny Girl down with her, one of my favourites. And at 1.44 this afternoon, the housemates finally learnt how they're fed in this week's pirate task. The results of this week's pirate task are as follows. The captain and his seamen incurred a total of 28 fails oh. over three days. The group are allowed to incur two fails per day in order to pass the task. The group have therefore failed this week's pirate tasks. The group will receive the details of basic shopping budget later today. Big Beard, ha -ha! 28 fails. Can you imagine that? Is that a Big Brother record? I think it might be. Uh, 14 fails for not wearing a hat, one for not wearing a uniform, one for not singing the song, one for attempting to communicate with the outside world, three for leaving the crow's nest empty, one for swapping shirts, one for not being on the deck, and two for not wearing a weapon, and four group fails. Unbelievable. That was Little Brother's Big News. <laughs> As the good captain of the pirate task, science has now faced uh, a number of mutinies this week. With that in mind, today's cool BBLB would quite simply be who would you have picked as captain and why? Here's how to get in touch. With Derek and Roberto both up for eviction this week, Maxwell is a very happy little camper here to talk to us about his reaction to the nominations and how they think he's coping in the house with his three best mates, Vaughny, Dorsey and the Grinch. <laughs> Born it, you're already a friend of the show, but where the Dorsey and the Grinch come into this equation? Well, Jimbo went to school with him. Uh, yeah, him I, I, long, we only call him Dorsey on the yeah, show. Yeah, Dorsey, sorry. And the Grinch? The Grinch is one of his football pals. Oh, lovely. Grinch, yeah. what's your real name, or is it just the Grinch? It's Kieran, actually, but... Oh, um, I was hoping you'd say just the Grinch. Well... <laughs> no, it's not the Grinch. Kieran's fine. <laughs> so, um, so you, you're both football fans. Dorsey, you've known for some time, then, haven't yeah. you? Yeah, grew up with him, went to primary school with him. Went to primary school yeah. with him? Yeah. What was he like at primary school? He was a few years older, but um, I think he still sort of had quite a character. He's the Maxwell we still know in yeah, there. I think he's a bit of a charmer, yeah. OK, after the results yesterday, he made his feelings towards Roberto and Derek very clear. Does he always say what he thinks? Does he ever beat around the bush? No. Always says what he thinks, always. Always, always. Gets him into trouble sometimes, but most of the time. Does he, does he get into trouble much? Not because, really. You know, he, he's, he's, he's got a mouth on him, but at the same yeah. time, he's got, a, he's got a fair bit of charm as well. Yeah, he seems to mix the two quite well, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah he gets on people's... He gets on our nerves sometimes, but I think... I he... love the way you stop yourself halfway through. He gets on people... <laughs> he gets on our nerves oh, yeah, sometimes. Yeah. OK, uh, before he went into the house, Maxwell said the thing he would miss most 
was you guys. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Oh, look at that. Why wouldn't you? It seems, <laughs> however, seems however grinchy. Uh, that it's kind of friend in Anthony. Take a look. <laughs> The Grinch, is he usually that much of a practical joker? Well, most of the time, yeah, he's got a bit of a big mouth on him, but, uh, yeah, he's a lovely lad, yeah, good joker. Are you, good are, good are guy to have in the crowd. Are you guys surprised with how well he's done in the house? Because he's gone in there... Look, you, t you two just went... Doors, he was like, yeah, I really am. <laughs> he's gone in there and, you know, he says what he thinks and so forth, but he's, he's really been a favourite so far, and all the bookies are kind of putting him, if not up there, but certainly, you know, one of the favourites. Yeah. I'd say yeah. he's... He's more tolerant in the house. He's been more adaptable to like the different characters in there. I know you have to be, mm -hmm. with um, you know, because you're stuck in the house. But he's sort of made an effort to but it does bring get out on some, with people. Exactly. You know? I think it sometimes it brings out the worst in people, and sometimes it brings out the best in people. Mm. And, and without you know, you're not allowed to have favours, but it appears that it is bringing out the best in Maxwell. He's just you know, yeah. he's so yeah. like people can relate time. to him as well. Yeah. Likes beer, likes football. A lot of people. Richard, you're going, yeah, I like beer. I like football. Yeah, well, yeah. there you go. This is the guy for me. <laughs> now, um, on to the ladies. What do we make of him and Saskia? I reckon that sort of, I reckon she took a real shine to him. I reckon that hit a real high spot when she was in the toilet. Yeah. You know, when she, I reckon that was his chance. He's <laughs> good with girls in toilets, is that what yeah, you're saying? Well, no, that's oh. his style. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't like to see. But, yeah, now, that was his high spot. I think if he was going to move in, it would have been them. But then it can turn around again. I think she sees him as a mate now at the moment. But hopefully it will turn around again for him. The tricky thing is, he obviously fancies her. Without a doubt. Yeah. yeah. She's got him right round him. <laughs> you reckon, Grinchy? Yeah, you can tell. I feel it. The hand in the sleeve, the persistent. hand on her ass again, again. Get a message. Come on. Easy there, Grinchy. That's oh, toilet sorry. talk. We don't like it around these parts. <laughs> <laughs> but the other day, they did share a bed, and I was watching it thinking something was going to, you know, may well have happened then. A girl wouldn't let a guy share his bed if she, if she didn't, you know, even if it was just platonically, she didn't like him. I think his persistence might pay, it might pay off, to be honest. Yeah. As in the past. He's a bit of a bit of a sex pest sometimes. That's, that's nice to know. <laughs> that's their opinion, and he's their very good friend. Get me out of this now! <laughs> um, <laughs> but did, no, do you see? So you seriously think they could get it together over a period of time? I mean, yeah. she's a very, very beautiful girl. Does he normally do well on, on that front? He punches above his weight. Does he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's certainly doing that here. <laughs> OK, um, now, he's seemingly quite popular in the house, but he only just scraped through with nominations yesterday. Uh, Science nominated him, Sam nominated him. Why do you think he's a target? Potentially he can win it, I think. Cos he's That's siding why. with Saskia as well, and they've, they've got some sort of thing against they him. They heard the big cheers as well Friday when they went live. He got the biggest cheer. They're going to feel threatened by that, obviously. Mm. It is amazing, because they were all up for the, uh, eviction last week and Davina went through all the names so they could hear what the crowd was yeah. saying and what, how the crowd felt. Yeah. It was incredible the effect that, you know, because you were down here last yeah. Friday, weren't you? Yeah. It was incredible the effect that that had on the housemates. You could see it immediately, because Maxwell got such a big cheer that yeah. you could see he was suddenly, you know, and Saskia did as well, which, yeah. is, which is kind of rare in Big Brother, because normally the crowd come down and, and kind of really sort of like cheer the guys and always seem to be the girls, yeah. do you know what I mean? It's yeah, kind of strange. definitely. I, I think that's probably the, the big factor of it, I mean, is... The, the cheers, obviously, they're obviously just going to feel so threatened by it. Yeah. OK, for now, thanks a lot, Vaughnie, Dorsey and the Grinch, everybody! <laughs> that's well surrender the family. OK, uh, Derek, Roberto and Sam all faced a public vote this week. You decide who goes. These are the numbers to call. <laughs> to evict Derek, dial 09016 Or text Derek to 64404. To Evic Roberto, dial 09016 or text Roberto to 64404. Or to Evic Sam, dial 09016 or text Sam to 64404. Okay, after the break, uh, we see how Leslie got on in her first official driving lesson. And we'll be taking Chris Malls on a tour of the house. They're right not to trust him because he is untrustworthy. <laughs> we'll see you in three.
this little brother with uh, Chrissy Morris and the camera on. Hey, Chris, how are you? I'm very well, Kelly. How are you? I'm very, very well. What do we think, then? Saskia is very small in real life. She is, isn't she? She's really junky on my television. <laughs> but she's no, she's all right, man. I'm, I'm very impressed. People's perceptions always change when they see them sort of in the camera on and, and up to real life. Who else do you like the look of? Uh, the, all, all the women. Well, <laughs> any... Sam. Sam looks quite nice. Sam's looking quite fine. She's a very pretty girl. And in, in ter you've been in the camera on several times before, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> on my own, that's nervous. When I'm with him, it's doubled. What are you reading? No, <laughs> Me and Chris are going to go for a little drive now. While we do that, you can uh, check out Leslie's first official driving lesson, which took place yesterday. Take a look. What is a clutch actually for? Because I don't have a clue. You just briefly go through the controls. So, gear stick, handbrake, indicators, steering wheel. We're going to just bring the clutch up a little bit more, about a width of a pound coin. So the bit of gas, steer it to the right a little bit. Steer it to the right. <laughs> right foot only, off the gas. Off the gas. I stalled it. Someone just said, women drivers really pee me off. <laughs> First lesson, how rude. Oh, God, I'm moving. What am I doing? <laughs> so, like, going off like that one lesson, how many lessons do you think it would take for me? <laughs> See you later. See ya. You gotta get one of these, man. Brilliant. Brilliant. Perfect. Lovely. <laughs> Come with me, Chris. Chris, you've been in the house, haven't you, before we were... Before the whole place Yeah, off. we went in for, um, for a couple of hours. They locked us in. Oh, fantastic. Chris Moore's, everybody. Hello! <laughs> Hello. Hello. See, so, yeah, on press day, you were, you and your team went in for what? A couple of hours? About two and a half hours. I went in for. Which they, I think they used you as like guinea pigs. They used. The whole Do you know? Team. Honestly, it was really good fun. Really, really good. Um, but, but very bizarre. I walked in and you go, you walk in the bedroom. There's no one in, and you hear the camera go. Rrr. So for about 20 minutes, I just walked into every room with a big grin like this. Uh, do you get immediately paranoid as well? I mean, I, I know that it's so easy not to because you know no one's watching, but at the same time, all the cameras um, are walking, you know, uh, working. Yeah, and you, and you do forget, you know, but it's only two and a half hours, but kind of after about an hour and a half, you're sitting there talking about something, you forget, and then you kind of walk into another room and you see this thing go like that, and you go, oh, oh God, yeah, people yeah, yeah. watching. Um, so, housemates this year? I mean, obviously, we've, we've just spent uh, the last 30 seconds looking at how much you like the girls. Seriously, I can't believe how small uh, uh, Saskia is, because on telly, she's not fat, I mean, we're not, she's not Leslie, but I'm just, as in, she's, she's fat, isn't she? <laughs> There's the a of, reason why uh, the end of the Chris day, and Leslie aren't right. on the same show. <laughs> I'm really it. disappointed. I'm really, really disappointed she's not here. If, you, if she was here, you'd be an absolute puppy dog. Do you know, I'd lie through my teeth. <laughs> I'm supporting you all the way through, and you are gorgeous, <laughs> love, honestly. But the sofa would be kind of like that. A hey, bit. don't be horrible to Leslie, man. She's had a hard, hard life. A couple, couple of weeks. Yeah, OK. Face. So, um, Saskia. So, Saskia, yeah, she, um... I think for all the girls watching at home, they'll be very disappointed to hear that she's she's not as chunky as they like, they would hope her to be. Is Saskia your favourite? I've I mean, got, a housemate as a whole. I've got a, I've got a bit of a soft spot for her. I must admit. Yeah. But it changes because it change it changes on a on a daily basis. I didn't like Maxwell at all when he first went in, and now I think he's all right actually. I yeah. think He's okay. Who else? Uh, Derek, um, I like. He amuses me mm -hmm. a lot. Do you think Derek will go this weekend? I think it's. It's Sam might go, I think. Because girls don't, girls don't like her. I don't know why. Have you are? I mean, your listeners, are they, have you spoke to them about it? Are, they, are people saying I don't that... talk to them. They're all weird. <laughs> but um, it's, uh, Roberto, maybe. Think, see, what's interesting is they've all got evil streaks. They've all got a little nasty streak about them. Pretty much every single one's got a little vicious. Mm -hmm. And it's all coming out now. So I don't know. I'd say probably Sam, maybe, you think? to go, see, all oh, the women go like this. But in the past, you've sort of had them on your show and you're always very hospitable and you have people on your show and you have a few drinks with them. Would you feel like that this year? Would you, could you have a drink with anyone? What happens is you watch, I don't know if you're the same, you watch them when they all go on the Friday and you go, wouldn't go for a drink with them. 
wouldn't go for a drink with them, <laughs> wouldn't go for a drink with them. And then eventually, I, as the weeks go by, you go, actually, they're all right. Yeah. Uh, Maxwell, I'd probably go for a couple of pints with and then leave before he started to get the taste, if Absolutely. you know what I mean. There could be trouble. But all Derek, right. wouldn't you like to bring Derek to your local boozer? I think that would be great. Beautiful. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> pints? Well, look at this place. OK, none of the housemates seem to have a problem saying exactly what they think of each other. And with that in mind, are you, do you think the casting's gone, gone good this year? In, in, I, I, in, in terms of the fact that they all, like you said, they all do seem to have this kind of little snappy streak. Yeah, I think, um, how, many, how many days in are we so yeah, far? 20. Right, so I think this is the best Big Brother's been this early on in the mm. series. I, I really genuinely do. I'm, I'm that sad about Big Brother when everyone, every, every year people go, it's not as good as it was last year, and I'm like, give it about three, three and a half weeks, four weeks, it'll start kicking in. But, yeah, but, but I was going to say, when, years, I, I really like it this year. When did you make up your mind? Because, you know, you're, you're always a, a big supporter, but you, you're also quite critical, uh, you know, many, many times in, in the right way, in terms of how the show goes, the, the theme of the show, as it were. Yeah, I think it? I've earned the right to be a proper... <laughs> So no, to be a but you are a fan, fan, so you have. Yeah. No, as, and I really, I, I, and I think a lot of bearing in mind this year, on the f before Anthony even got in the house, they cheered him at the car, they booed him at the Unbelievable. And that is now, as a proper Big Brother fan, that is our right to do that, because they, they're just in there for our amusement. Yeah. And I love that, and I, you know, like Leslie, all the, I, she was great, she was brilliant today, but, and she should still be in the house. But of course she's out, so I have to go on the radio and call her a big fat pig. But, you know... <laughs> Uh, my, next link, my next link weirdly says, and yeah. you're a man who's known to speak his mind. OK. Uh, you've given us your three uh, favourite put-downs so far. Let's have a look at number three. OK. Look, I'm having a bath, Amanda. No, you're not, man. You're just stood in the bin looking like an idiot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just sat in the bin looking like an idiot. Perfect. What do you think of science? He's from, he's from ghetto, yep. isn't he? But he's right. from your hometown. He, he ain't, seriously, he ain't from the ghetto, right? There's a Sainsbury's, do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's not, that's not the proper ghetto. He's ten minutes, he's six minutes in a cab from the city centre. There was a great, uh, there was a great piece in The Guardian a couple of weeks ago, I don't mean to over-intellectualise the show, but there was a great piece in The Guardian when uh, he said, if he is truly representative of the ghetto, it's full of people that moan when they don't get enough salad cream with their fish fingers. Which do you know I what I mean? Which terrific. It's just, I don't, you know, he's, he's, he's one of the... Uh, Oh my God! In it, brigade. Do you think with a, with a Leeds accent? So think... like he talks like that, but then gets out Leeds at the same time, <laughs> and his just voice just kind of swings. Any chance of him winning? No. Watch tonight's show because he. I mean, really? He, yeah, he absolutely explodes on tonight's show. Okay, let's see. His hair's two. exploded already. <laughs> Sorry. Actually, let, let me do the old thing. All right. Whatever, Minga. <laughs> Now that for me is like your embarrassing uncle. Yeah, just he's just remembered something he's, he's had it's to do. It's the worst put down in the world. Yeah. Hang on, but I love the fact he had to put down his mug <laughs> to do it. <laughs> Hang on a sec. No, let me see, see if I can remember this. Here it goes. Whatever. Well, Makosi was almost embarrassed for it. it. But it's it's so you know it's so a couple of years ago, and well, he may as well have just done this. Whenever. Yeah. You know what I mean. <laughs> It doesn't work. What do you make of Roberto McCasey? I, I like him. I think he's all right. I think he's a bit, again, I think he's a bit nasty sometimes. And I think he, he, he lashes out a little bit too much. But he's very, I think he's, he's, he's quite funny. And he's also very really grown up. And I like the fact that if anything smutty starts happening, he just kind of leaves, doesn't yeah. he? He didn't like it. He didn't like a bit of smut, does he? So. Um, uh, yeah, he's very Catholic. OK, uh, let's have a look at your top spot. As we are. He needs two boxes. One for his body and one for his big, big head. It's so big. It's got, it's got its own weather system and its own postcode. <laughs> Do you, in any way, shape, or form, feel sorry for Craig? No, not at all. No. Do you like Craig? Uh, I, I, I did at the beginning, and now I think he's. I, there's a, I asked if I was allowed to say a certain word, but I'm not allowed to say it. So, catty. I'd say he's catty. Hey, you know what I mean? He's, uh, I, think he's, I think he's really nasty. I think Craig is the, probably the nastiest one in there. I think he's he's really streak, vicious. He? You know, okay. but don't call him camp, whatever you do. What an outrage. Uh, what, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I was about to do the outro to Chris Malls, but I've always wanted to say this. Chris, you're a great house motor while you're in the house. Here are your best bits. Give over. <laughs> Hello. There's no contact with the outside world. I thought that was just like a joke. Cut off that.
<laughs> the cat toy don't. I'm nominating Alad because um, I don't like him. He irritates me. Yeah, but he's too slow. Right, I'm ready. Ooh. Come on, Chris. Say goodbye. Hooray! It's my own! Do you know what's sad? Do you know what's really sad? Is, is, is now watching that, I, I suddenly realised I'd make a really irritating house. <laughs> no. I thought that I was quite, being quite funny. That's really irritating. <laughs> Today's cool BBB is uh, who would mm -hmm. you pick captain and why? Let's go to the phone. Danny and Croydon. Hey, Danny. Hello, Dermot. Hello, Moisey. Go Mo for it. Moisey. <laughs> Moisey <laughs> Everton. Hello. How are you doing? All right. Yeah, go for all right. It, Danny. Yeah. I'd like to see Captain Sam. I'd like to see Sam get her own back before she's kicked out because the, the women in this nation are so bitter and twisted, they want to kick her out. Male heavy skewed show today, isn't it? Uh, all right, thanks, Danny. Um, do, do, <laughs> Danny, do you do you think that uh, that she thinks she deserves to go this week? Well, I mean, she's a. I, I think she's a great girl. I mean, I don't see why every year you have an half, half decent looking bird who don't do too much, and all the women in this in this great nation want to kick her out for okay. no reason. Good point, Danny. Thank you very much, Sam. Yeah, what? Well, I, 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 do you think she deserves to go? <laughs> uh, <sighs> No. Should Sam go, yes or no? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Would it at least have been nice to see Sam take the mantle as captain this week and, uh, you know... Yes, it would, Dermot. Wouldn't that have been a great victory? Thank you very much, Chris. Plus, you know, we, truth is, we've seen her naked now, she can go. OK. <laughs> bring up, bring, up, bring he, on the next sacrificial naked lamb. He truly is a gentleman. Uh, thanks to uh, all the callers. Well, thanks to Danny, anyway. And I guess Chris Moore's everybody. <laughs> Morning, Dorsey and the Grinch. coming in in the morning. Uh, I'm coming in the morning. Yeah. Russell Brand, 7.30 on E4 with Big Brother's Big Mouth. Main show tonight, 10 o'clock on Channel 4. We're back tomorrow with Lisa Faulkner at 5.25. Have a good night. See you then. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>